so a very good evening to each of my friends here um you know so that's me i'm coming up onto the video for probably a minute or two okay and then i'm going to be concentrating on the topic so hi everyone uh, and uh, what's the idea for today i'll tell you uh, the idea for today is ki mujhe aap logo ka कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल जो है वो थोड़ा बूस्ट करना है आप जावा का कोई भी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करो एनी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम इन जावा विच यू प्लान टू सॉल्व एवरी प्रॉब्लम रिक्वायर्स स्ट्रिंग्स विच यू कैन सी यू नो विच विल बी सीइंग ऑन माय स्क्रीन राइट नाउ एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर मैंने सारे के सारे जो नोट्स हैं दोस्तों वो आपके साथ ऑलरेडी शेयर कर लिए हैं आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर इट ऑन द टेक ग्रुप आई एम क्वाइट कॉन्फिडेंट कि आप लोगों ने डाउनलोड किया होगा किया है ना दोस्तों प्लीज लेट मी नो has everybody got the notes and downloaded it only kaji says yes rest are not downloaded all these notes which i am showing you on my screen my friends i have already given to you in the morning over the group okay the pdf of this entire notes is there on the group link if you have not downloaded then please do it while the session is going on okay now coming on to understanding uh, what is the plan for today as i told you uh, this session is specifically organized for all my students who have enrolled for the java coding course uh, and uh, uh, the idea behind this particular the idea behind this particular uh, uh, course is that many students when they solve start solving a problem because all the input which comes up in java all the input is taken up in java uh, that input is taken up in the form of strings इसका मतलब जब आप कोई भी इनपुट लेते हो तो आपको पता होना चाहिए कि उसको प्रोसेस कैसे करना है एंड टू प्रोसेस द इनपुट वी यूज डिफरेंट क्लासेस इन जावा लाइक स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग बफर एंड स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर ओके सो टू वर्क विद स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग बफर एंड स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर देर आर सम बिल्ट इन मेथड्स व्हिच यस ऑफ कोर्स हैव बीन कवर्ड इन द वीडियो बट मेनी पीपल टेक इट लाइटली बिकॉज़ वो उस टाइम देखते हैं उन फंक्शंस को और उन्हें यूज करते हैं इंस्टेंटली एंड दे फॉरगेट so i really want to emphasize on the fact that there are these three methods or in classes ka tino classes ka string string buffer and string builder classes ke andar kaun kaun se methods hai aur in methods ko kis situation mein kab hame use karna chahiye so today's session is not going to be like a, a, a python ka session jo uh, aapke kuch friends ne attend kiya tha jahan hum log uh, you know problem lekar usko directly solve kar rahe no today's session is going to be more of uh, less of problem solving and more of concept building because your concept shouldn't be weak when it comes to string processing okay and a very similar session is going to be for another master class of java which i was planning to keep it on 16th but main 16th ko nahi rakhunga okay uh, because i come to understand ki hamare uh, kuch students logo ka uh, exams hai uh, on uh, 15th and 16th uh, march aur kuch all logo ke exams 15th 16th 17th ko bhi hai jo java coding course mein hai to main उस टाइम में नहीं रखूंगा आई बी कीपिंग इट आफ्टर ट्वेंटी एट मतलब टू जीरो के बाद में रखूंगा अपना नेक्स्ट जावा का मास्टर क्लास ठीक है एंड दैट्स आल्सो गोइंग टू बी ऑन सिमिलर फंडामेंटल एस्पेक्ट बट विद फ्यू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स चलिए दोस्तों सो वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ईच एंड एवरी वन आई होप यू गोइंग टू एंजॉय टूडे सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीट पावर पैक सेशन और मुझे बहुत ज्यादा इंट्रेक्शन चाहिए बिकॉज हम लोग आज काफी अंडरस्टैंडिंग करने वाले हैं मैं वापस दोहरा रहा हूँ जो लोग अभी भी ग्रुप पर आए हैं फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम रिमेंबर वॉट एवर नोट्स आई एम शोइंग यू दीज डिटेल नोट्स इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल टू यू ऑन एज अ पी डी एफ ऑन योर टेक व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ओके देर इज अ कोड फाइल विच आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू शेयर आई विल बी एग्जीक्यूटिंग द कोड वेन एवर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड बट द कोड एग्जीक्यूशन इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक मे बी थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम्स मोर ऑफ द टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू बी डू कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्डिंग एंड आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क यू क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज कीप योर फिंगर्स ready over the keyboard to answer over the chat at any point of time you plan to come to audio you will type audio over the chat main repeat karta hu at any point of time aapko agar audio par aana hai aap kaban ho raha hai aap face to face mujhse kuch puchna chahte ho to audio par agar aapko aana hai to you will type audio over the chat i will when i allow you in that point of time you will please come over uh, and uh, you will go ahead coming on to audio okay right so cool so let's now begin with this uh, accordingly uh, and uh, i am turning off my camera so that you are able to concentrate on the screen 
thank you great so friends first of all to deal with strings in java i've got three classes string string buffer and string builder first let me start with the string class string class ki khasiyat ye hai ki aap usko change nahi kar sakte the strings are immutable immutable ka matlab hota hai ek bar jo string ban gaya so ban gaya kehte nahi rocky sir hum to string ko alter kar sakte hain we can concat data to it yes you can but remember strings are immutable so that is a implication of it is in the memory so you can declare strings in two ways one is directly like this without using the new keyword second is with the new keyword in dono mein bhi antar hai when you declare the string in the first way you are actually creating a string constant not a string object i repeat my words when you are creating a string in this particular way you are creating a string constant not a string object and in this particular way you are creating a string object okay so there is a string constant and is there a string object okay next uh to make a string buffer you cannot make a string buffer constant matlab you cannot write string buffer sb equal to new abc aapko new likhna hi padega like for example some people will say that oh rocky can i write like this string buffer sb equal to hello i'm sorry you cannot you cannot because by rule for string buffer and string builder you have to use a new, new keyword and make an object okay so remember by rule string banane ke do tarike hain one is string constant other is string object but string buffer and string builder mein aapko object hi banana padta hai by using the new keyword this is the first thing which you should remember now what is the meaning of the word mutable and not mutable friends panda kya hota hai na jab aap koi string banate ho specifically when you make a string constant by writing s1 is equal to let's say abc so fundamentally kya hota hai strings are getting stored in the computer in two places actually one is actually called as a string pool constant naya word sun rahe ho na string pool constant all the strings which you create without using the new keyword i repeat without using the new keyword those are actually getting stored in the pool constant so tomorrow if i say s1 is equal to hi as my first string and i say s2 is also equal to hi you may believe that you have made two strings but honestly speaking java is very smart java will only hold one string because you are not using the new keyword no so the word hi is made in the pool constant space so s1 is referring to the pool constant space hi s2 is also going to refer to the same variable so no different string will be created you see so s1 and s2 both are referring to the variable hi okay right so i hope you are able to get the concept of a string constant on the other hand if i said s1 is equal to new and in this new string of course new string okay you want me to write new string also fine i'll do that new string and then you wrote hi here then what's going to happen you know the string will not be created in the pool constant space it will not be there is something called as a heap space in the computer heap space is that space where all objects reside bas unhi ke sath aapka ek object reside hoga jo apni jagah lega aur uske andar aapne word hi likha hai wapas se maine suppose isko maine s11 de diya to s11 is referring to the space maine wapas likha s12 is equal to new string hi तो S12 के लिए भी एक अपना स्पेस अलोकेट होगा S12 के लिए भी अपना एक स्पेस अलोकेट होगा सो इट मीन्स एज मेनी टाइम्स आई राइट न्यू अ न्यू स्पेस इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग अलोकेटेड एंड द सेम कॉन्टेंट इज बींग स्टोर बट पूल कॉन्स्टेंट में ऐसा नहीं होता तो लुक एट द ब्यूटी ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स सो वेन यू डिक्लेयर स्ट्रिंग्स विदाउट द न्यू की वर्ड यू आर एक्चुअली क्रिएटिंग स्ट्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट्स and when you create strings by writing a new keyword there is new string or new string buffer or new string builder you are actually creating string objects in the heap space okay this is a very important core fundamental difference between them hello me uh, friends please check your audio somebody audio is on hmm. right so uh, friends i hope you have got the difference between string constant and a uh, string 
object okay now there is a code in front of you okay so i want one of you to try and come to uh, audio remember when if you are coming to audio there should be no background disturbance ekdam peaceful silent hona chahiye aapka background so who can come to audio i have a question to ask please any one of you kazi how about you coming to audio please come for one minute Oas Kazi, I'm asking you. Can you come to audio for a minute? Okay, no response. Anyway, so class, when when I'm asking you to come to audio, you should be prompt to come to audio. I'm not going to uh, you know cut your marks or give you marks. I have no right to give you marks or cut your marks. Hello. Either I'm going to hold you. So you should immediately come. Yeah, is it Kazi? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, Kazi. My first question to you is: You have written here that string s1 equal to high, and here you have written that string s2 equal to new string high. In both of these, which string constant is? First one. Right. And string object? Second one, s2. Correct. And what do you feel about s3? S3. What will happen? String constant. Yes. Okay. So s1 and s3, which will be taking the same space or different spaces? Same space. Very good, excellent. You can go to mute. Thank you. So, friends, Kazi very correctly answered. S3 and S1 are going to be taking the same space because they are holding the same string value. Now, let me tell you of how you could actually run this piece of code. So, if I go down to my uh, workspace, which you can see on my this particular screen, I am not going to run all the codes from here. Okay. So, ये वाला कोड मैं अभी रन नहीं करता हूँ. I'll be discussing this code as I'm working here. So what's going to happen if if I'm saying using the equality operator? So there are two ways you can compare strings. One is by using equality operator, and other is by using equals method. One is by comparing equality. One is by using equality operator. Other is by using equals method. दोनों में अंतर क्या है? जब आप equality operator use करते हो और आप दो स्ट्रिंग्स को कंपेयर करते हो S1 वन कंपेयर विद एस टू देन वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज गोइंग टू हैपन इज यू विल बी कंपेयरिंग ओनली द एड्रेस वेयर एस वन इज स्टोर विद दैट ऑफ द एड्रेस ऑफ एस टू इसका मतलब एस वन एस टू के कॉन्टेंट कंपेयर नहीं होते एस वन एस टू के एड्रेस कंपेयर होते अगर आपको एस वन के कॉन्टेंट को कंपेयर करना है विद दैट ऑफ एस टू then you need to use the equals method so i repeat equals method se content compare hote hain aur equality operator se keval address compare hote hain okay so ab i think aap bahut quickly answer kar paoge what is the what is the belief of the class what do you think s1 equal to s2 is it true or false everyone s1 equal to s2 is it true or false class come on answer absolutely it's going to be false why because of a very simple reason if s1 is going to be compared with s2 technically and fundamentally speaking s1 pool constant space mein pada hua hai because it's a string constant and s2 is an object so it's going to be in the heap space that means dono ke addresses alag alag honge and if both addresses are different if will fail i'll come to the else part and obviously i will print s1 and s2 are not equal similarly if i am comparing s1 with s3 please remember s1 and s3 both are pool constants so string constants so they are going to be equal and it's going to be printing the the first if wala part okay great now this is already i have explained you this is a very straightforward thing agar aapko strings ko concat karna hai then there are two ways of doing it one is by using the plus operator you can concat the string or there is by using plus equal to operator So in both the ways you can concat the strings. Great. Apart from using the plus operator, is there a method? Yes, there is a method called concat to concat my strings. Just be careful. जब आप strings को concat करते हो, you have to be sure that your strings are not null. 
if any one string s1 or s2 if any one of them is null i repeat if s1 or s2 if any one of them is null we would get a null pointer exception i repeat we will get a null pointer exception okay right so just to prove you that if i look at this piece of code of mine which is basically dealing with the contact function my class everybody knows that whenever you want to run a java program you have to be careful that the name of your class which contains the main function and the name of your file should match i repeat file ka naam and wo class jiske andar main function hai ye naam dono match hone chahiye theek hai ab main chhota sa kaam kar raha hu please check kijiye i am marking the string as null that means i have i have declared i have declared a variable s2 i have declared a variable s2 you see which is basically a variable which is holding nothing like it's holding null as you could see okay now what i'm going to do exactly is i'm going to try and concat them notice this s1 concat and s2 let's see what happens so how do i run a program to run any program i have two steps java c to compile the code scpl dot java and have a look error variable s2 might not have been initialized oh so that's an error fine so i will just clear my screen go back to my code and then probably assign it null so i may be assign kar raha hu mujhe abhi jo error aaya wo compile time error tha dosto run time error nahi tha mujhe compile time error mila wapas se program ko compile kar raha hu i'll just save this code compile this again see compile ho gaya now i'm going to run the code how do you run the code you say java and the name of the this is the binary file actually created inside don't write dot java don't write dot java extension because there is a class file which is created so i'm writing java in the name of the class file look at this exception in thread main look at the exception null pointer exception <clears throat> so you need to you have to remember this jab bhi aap string par koi bhi kaam karte ho koi bhi you have to be very careful that when you are working on a string you should have something within the string if your string is empty and you are trying to do any work on it maybe as simple as concat also you will get a null pointer exception that means null strings are not entertained in java right null strings are not entertained in java okay so let me clear this piece of code let me go back on to our code file <clears throat> very interesting piece of code ah huh? <clears throat> super interesting i've got two methods here equals and equals ignore case i just explained to you couple of minutes back that there is a difference between equality operator and equals method this difference is universal it is applicable in java in javascript and in python i repeat jo difference mai bata raha hu aapko equality operator aur equals method mein ye sabhi languages mein hold good karta hai it holds good in python it holds good in java and in javascript so and even other languages also jo aapko nahi pata ho example golang or rust there other programming languages where also this concept holds good anyway right so this is basically my operator called equality operator if i am comparing two strings using equality operator this guy is only going to compare the addresses he is not bothered what is kept inside s1 and what is kept inside s2 he is only going to compare the two addresses but when you use equals method equals not an operator and equals is a method then you are actually comparing the content of s1 with the content of s2 okay so with that remembrance aapko ye cheez yaad honi chahiye i think we can straight jump into the program and if anybody is feeling that rocky sir even i would like to run this code you're welcome right you already have no you already have my workspace with you barabar aapke paas mera workspace to hai na you can always pick up this workspace and uh copy paste it in your 
code file and run it. If you want that I should share this with you, I will not mind. I'll do that. I can share this in two parts. If I want to execute the Java code along with me, you're welcome. You can do that. I have shared my code with you. Okay. Let me come into the code part over here. <coughs> Please have a look. I made two string constants. Pella wala S1, dusra wala S2. What I have got over here is actually a string object, not a string constant, a string object. A quick question to all of you in the class. Is the address or location of S1 and S3 same? Is the address or location of S1 and S3 same? Only one person is answering yes. What about others? <clears throat> they don't want to answer. Absolutely. Very correct. That's right. The answer is yes. For S1 and S3 are both stored in the string pool constant in the same space. Basically, they are both in the same place. Obviously, if I compare S1 with S2, they are not the same. Addresses are different for S1 and S2. And therefore, I will come to the else part and I will say both are referring to different address spaces or heap spaces. But if I use the equals method, remember equals method kya karta hai? It will compare the content of S1 with the content of S2. Now when you're comparing content of S1 with content of S2, it is same, na? Content is the same. And because content is the same, no wonder you will be getting the if part as your answer. Okay, next. Is S1 and S3 same? I already asked you people. You already, all of you said yes. Same here because both are lying in the pool constant. And therefore, in the this case, if part is going to run. Last thing, if I compare S1's content with S3, if I compare content of S1 with S3, is it same? Yes, it is very much same. No wonder. This case will be if ka part run correct. Okay. <clears throat> now for all those who quickly apna the VS code editor open kar sakte hai. Agar aapko chahiye to aap is program ko run karke experience kar sakte hai apne output ko. Please, you can go ahead. Is there anybody running the codes along with me? Koi code run kar raha hai mere saath saath? Batao. Sheikh says yes. Good. Om Shanmuk says yes. Very good. Fine. I'll wait for a minute. If you're running the code along with me, I'll wait for a minute. Friends, execution done. <coughs> okay, question coming in. Why one need to check object references while comparing those two strings? Okay, very good question. 
so see what happens no that we are not actually comparing object references we are trying to tell you that the difference between the two ways of comparing एक तरीका होता है जब आप इक्वालिटी ऑपरेटर यूज करते हो आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे होगे कि वेन आई एम यूजिंग एस वन इक्वल टू एस टू सो आई बी कंपेयर इन कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एस वन एस टू ऐसा नहीं होता सो वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टीच यू इज इफ ए एन बी वर सिंपल रंबर्स एंड यू यूज इक्वालिटी ऑपरेटर देन इट्स कॉन्टेंट इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग कंपेयर देन इट्स कॉन्टेंट इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग कंपेयर बट If same thing, if I say A and B are objects, and use the equality operator, their content does not gets compared. Instead, their addresses gets compared. That is the way the equality operator works in a programming language like Java or Python or JavaScript. Hence, in these programming languages, we have a method called equals wherein if you want to compare the content of the two objects you can do that by using the equals method okay that is i hope partly answers your question now you may feel that lekin funda kya address compare karne ka funda hai funda ye hai address compare karne ka i want to check is the object a and b referring to the same space because of the object a and b is referring to the same space invariably they hold everything same no you see example deta hu mera ek particular mobile number hai aapne mera mobile number apne mobile phone mein rocky sir karke store kiya hai aur dusre student ne usko store kiya hai as rocky java sir just to understand that this person is one who is teaching me java at the moment okay now the point here is i am the same person right and the number is the same so effectively what's going to happen is whether you call at this number you call this number the same person is picking up the call so fundamentally you know you can compare this like this na no? so a and b is referring to the same phone number that means the same address space so that's the basic idea okay so always we need not compare the contents we can compare the address spaces so if the address space dono objects ka same hai to invariably the content same rahega okay and that's the basic idea behind comparing the address spaces okay right and equality operator mein shake jo address space compare hota hai na ye keval rules strings ko lagu nahi hota this rule is applicable to every object so the object type could be a student object could be a very complex object having lot of attributes so don't restrict the knowledge only to a string tomorrow if i give you any particular object let's say i give you an object a where object a is having five attributes another object b again of the same class having five attributes if you use equality operator on them again once again their addresses are going to get compared not their content and if if that is same if their addresses are the same then i am very sure that they both are holding the same content because they both are referring to the same space okay right that's the basic idea okay so friends now let me okay so same thing jo equals karta hai wahi equals ignore case bhi karta hai the only difference is in equals ignore case you are not worried about the case upper and lower case both are comparable and both are same okay fine now let's look at three functions now what is index of last index of and region matches in tino mein kya difference hai index of will search a string left to right last index of will search a string backwards and region matches will search a part of a string region matches i repeat will search a part of a string okay so let me show you an example of index of function over this case let me see whether i have a coded example so that it is easier for you to understand let's have a look
Well, uh, I've got a string here which says I'm preparing for OCBJP. And I'm written over here str. You can see that string hold kar hai. Right? str is holding this particular string. OCBJP is basically Oracle Certified Professional for Java Examination. Name of the exam which Oracle company takes for Java certification. Okay, so str is a string dot index of, I repeat my words, index of find kar rahe of the word for. Now see, in this entire string, do you find the word for? Tell me yes or no. Aapko us puri string mein word for dikh rahe? Right? You're everybody saying yes. Correct? So, in your minds, you can count the index. It is an index 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Jo bhi word F ka. For word start kaan se hota hai? Sir, F se hota hai. So, word for ka F jahan se start hota hai. Us character ka index position jo bhi hoga, ye return karega. Let me show you. Java C. Mere code compile kiya. Abhe code ko run kar raha hon. Have a look. 15. Count karne ke koi zarat nahi. You can trust ki haan. For ka F jo hai 15th index par aana hai. Abhe ek chota change me karta. Supposedly. Mere yaha par for ke baja hai far link kiya. F A R. So. Kya wo F ko match karega? Nahi. Dosto wo F ko sorry match kar raha hai. Wo to for ko match kar raha hai. So for to hai hi nahi fir string me. So obviously, when you compile, it will compile. It will be run. So you should have to run it. Minus one. Minus one means no match found. Remember, index of function. Use any of the format. Index of or last index of. If I have to answer minus one, then I have to get no match. Okay? Now, what do you do? 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 Right? I hope you have got this whole idea. Now, let me take a little trickier example and that example is over here let's have a look search for multiple occurrences of a string you know so many times this is a simple question of course but it is a very common interview question it's a kind of you know, i'm not talking of machine test a common interview question face to face so और स्टूडेंट्स को तो पूछा जाता है ये कि स्टूडेंट्स अप्लाइंग फॉर जावा इंटर्नशिप और स्टूडेंट्स अप्लाइंग फॉर जावा जॉब ओपनिंग्स ऑन कैंपस सवाल पूछा जाता है आपको यहां कोई भी स्ट्रिंग दे देंगे और कहेंगे कि आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग सम पर्टिकुलर वर्ड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट इज कमिंग एंड वेयर ऑल इट इज कमिंग आप बोलोगे ठीक है आई विल यूज इंडेक्स ऑफ फंक्शन बट द प्रॉब्लम इज इंडेक्स ऑफ फंक्शन विल फाइंड ओनली द फर्स्ट अकरेंस ऑफ द वर्ड so if I want to find all occurrences of the word I am A M, then what is index of going to do? Index of is going to find the only the first occurrences are going to stop here. The point is I want to find, as I repeat, I repeat, I want to find multiple occurrences of the word I am. So what can I do? Those to work on legally up to while loop use can not be how I'm using a while loop. I have my string here. I have written a from index. That means my starting point. That means I want to scan. I want to scan this whole uh, string from the starting index value zero. So let me see this. str dot index of str dot index of am. That's my word am. I want to find the word am first starting from the index zero. You will say, cool, I think I can get the word am from the index 0. So uh, 0, 1, 2, wo index 2 or 3 par aajayega. So the first occurrence comes 0, 1, index 2 per word am aajata hai. Cool. So ye for loop ka answer 2 aajega is 2 greater than minus 1? Yes, it is. Thik hai, bandar aajau. Come over here. str dot index of am is trying to search str or index of am is trying to search once again the word from index so from index is getting initialized to 2 i am printing ki pehli baar mujhe am 2 par aaya hai and i am incrementing from index plus plus now this is very this is the most uh, critical part understand this funda kya tha first time i got the word am at the index 2 theek hai maine usko print kar diya 
then what I'm doing, I'm doing from index 2 plus 1, that, that will make it 3. So in my while loop, now I'm telling you all, please search for the word am from the index 3. You will say, okay, yes, sir, I space am, may ye 0 hai, ye 1 hai, ye 2 hai, right? 2 to print kar diya na aapne? अब मैं कह रहा हूं कि आप इंडेक्स 3 से सर्च करो अब मैं कह रहा हूं कि आप इंडेक्स 3 से सर्च करो यू सी यू सर्च फ्रॉम इंडेक्स 3 इफ यू आर सर्चिंग फ्रॉम इंडेक्स 3 ऑनवर्ड्स इफ यू आर सर्चिंग फ्रॉम इंडेक्स 3 ऑनवर्ड्स सो व्हेन यू आर सर्चिंग फ्रॉम इंडेक्स 3 ऑनवर्ड्स ऑब्वियसली आपको एम वापस से नहीं मिलेगा ना ये एम का एम से आप आगे जा रहे हो तो इसके बाद आपको जहां प्रॉपर वर्ड ए एम वापस से मिलेगा वहीं जाकर वो रुकेगा एंड दैट इज लाइक क्वाइट अहेड इट कम्स अप ओवर हियर सो लेट मी शो यू दिस शुड बी मे बी इंडेक्स 15 16 कुछ होना चाहिए लेट मी शो यू हियर दिस कोड इन द रनिंग स्टेट मेक सेंस पहली बार आपको एम वर्ड इंडेक्स 2 पर आया फिर वो इंडेक्स 18 पर आया Okay, right. Now I'm going to give you time for all of you to go through this code and as well run with this code. Put in the whole code on the group. Please. Code is all yours. Go ahead, trying it. I'm on hold. Doubts, please ask. Friends, done. Please acknowledge no. If you're done with this running of the code. Thank you. Right. So. Let's look at this uh, funny uh, program. It's not a funny function. Program is funny. 
ओके आई एम ट्राइंग टू यूज रीजन मैचेस वाला फंक्शन नाउ इन दिस रीजन मैचेस फंक्शन आई एल एक्सप्लेन टू यू व्हाट एग्जैक्टली हैपेंस और हाउ डज इट एक्चुअली इट वर्क्स लेट मी जस्ट शो यू थ्रू अ कोड द कोड लुक्स वेरी लॉन्ग बट ट्रस्ट मी इट्स वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड Let's have a look at this. Okay, so, in region matches method, see index of me. What was happening? You were only interested in finding the starting index of a given string or a given character. In region matches, what you want to do is, let's say, if I give you a chat like this. Okay, Tarzan says, uh, "Hi, Jan. Want to ride an elephant?" and jan replies jan is a girlfriend of tarzan and she replies no thanks i'm preparing for ocbgp now wow so people there in the jungle also preparing for java surprising okay uh the match string which i want to find is pure chat conversation mein jo match string mujhe find karna hai wo hai ye space aap bolenge space kyu kaha space hai na dekho jan ke pehle space hai hmm? space then the word jan j a n e Colon, no thanks, exclamation. So this is what I want to find. ये मुझे find करना है इस पूरे string में. देखो मैंने highlight किया आपको दिख भी रहा होगा. ठीक है? ये चीज index of से आप find नहीं कर सकते. ये चीज find करने के लिए आपको region matches function use करना पड़ेगा. Okay, so what I'm going to do exactly is, I'm finding in the chat what is the index of backslash n. Backslash n is here. First time backslash n comes here. Backslash n means new line. Okay? so the the start index i am storing the starting the index value of this is a start index okay obviously my start index is greater than minus 1 kyunki it is definitely some value like it is 25 or 30 kuch value uska hoga so if we'll go through i come here look at the parameters required for region matches the first parameter is start index plus 1 where start index plus 1 means i am See start index for this backslash and now start index plus one is going to be this particular space. This point पर आप खड़े हो, ये वाले point पर आप खड़े हो, okay? वहाँ से आप बोल रहे हो कि मुझे match string match करना है, मतलब ये पूरा part match करना है. Match string में आपको कहाँ से match करना है? मतलब match string में आपको j से match करना है, n n से match करना है, कहाँ से match करना है? नहीं मुझे starting से match करना है, यहाँ से space से. ओके तो मैच स्ट्रिंग आपको पूरा मैच करना है जी पूरा मैच करना है तो आपने यहां पर जीरो देना है तो दिस थर्ड पैरामीटर एक्चुअली इज कि मैच स्ट्रिंग में आपको मैचिंग किस कैरेक्टर पोजीशन से करनी है मुझे जीरो कैरेक्टर से ही मैचिंग करनी है कूल एंड डू यू वांट टू मैच द होल मैच स्ट्रिंग यस सर मैच स्ट्रिंग डॉट लेंथ मींस आई वांट टू मैच द होल मैच स्ट्रिंग सो आई हैव गॉट फोर पैरामीटर्स इन हैंड द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज स्टार्ट इंडेक्स प्लस 1 मीनिंग टू से कि मैं यहां से ये जो स्पेस आपको दिख रहा है ना ये जो स्पेस यहां दिख रहा है यहां से मुझे मैच करना मैं स्टार्ट करना चाहता हूं मैच स्ट्रिंग ये मुझे पूरा मैच करना है ओके okay? और पूरा मैच करना है मतलब तो जीरो से लेकर एंड तक ऑब्वियसली आपको मैच मिलेगा रीजन मैचेस का आंसर यहां तो ट्रू होता है तो फॉल्स होता है अगर आंसर आपको ट्रू आया तो इफ का पार्ट रन करेगा विच आई एम श्योर यू लगरी की इट इज गोन टू कम स्टिल वॉन्ट टू चेक दिस I won't give you this program for running. It's going to waste us of class time, so I will run it myself. Have a look. Forty-one character say, Jain ka jo response tha, Jain no thanks. Vote forty-one character se aata hai, and it is matched completely. Okay, right. So that's what region matches function exactly does, friends. So remember three ways to find your data. one is index of last index of and region matches okay cool now this is of course very simple program so you have the notes with you so you can actually check this okay i want one of you to come to audio quickly and tell me what is the answer for this does a string s1 was so printing mistake should have been capital s okay does a string s1 starts with g o on Yes, no. 
does a string s1 starts with g o excellent azlan hasan sheikh all are going correct very good that's yes iska matlab iska answer true aayega starts with ends with always return either a true or a false okay so s1 starts with will return true S1 ends with is going to return again true because S1 also ends with GLE. What is your opinion for this? Does S1 starts with OOG at the index one? Does the does the string S1 starts with OOG at index one? Correct. All are answering yes. That's right. That's the correct answer. Perfect. So this is going to be true for all the three cases. perfect one piece of uh, caution people say length is a function in java length is a function as well as an attribute if you're using length over a string then you will use length function but if i define an array of strings and i want to find the length of the array remember length of this array is length of this array is 3 so to find the length of an array you will not use a function instead you are going to use a attribute okay now going to use a function you are going to use a attribute so length is a attribute right you're getting me on this so difference is if you're using to find length of a string you will use length method if you are finding length of a uh, array you are going to use length attribute same thing when yahan par bhi likhiye length method is used on string and length attribute is a property of the array and therefore it is used over an array okay dono ko mix mat karna please do alag alag cheez hai well a substring is a very straight forward function i don't think so there's much to discuss about it substring function aap mujhe start index dijiye आप मुझे एंड इंडेक्स दीजिए फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड इंडेक्स इट विल फेट रेट ऑफ फुल बी वेरी केयरफुल इफ द इंडेक्स रेंज इज नॉट प्रॉपर इज नॉट प्रॉपर अज्यूम कि आपका स्ट्रिंग नल है उसमें कुछ नहीं पड़ा है या आपका स्ट्रिंग में 10-15 कैरेक्टर्स है और आप मेरे को बोल रहे हो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी एथ कैरेक्टर एंड गो टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड कैरेक्टर कहां से ट्वेंटी से लेकर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड कैरेक्टर करो उसमें आपको ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड कैरेक्टर दिख रहा है क्या नहीं ना so obviously agar aapke string ka mere ko start aur end index aap kind of irrelevant doge to string index out of bound exception will occur okay yes, i know this is an obvious thing but you should be remembering it i want an answer for this come on whole class is having 1 minute to answer please tell me what is a correct option a to e kaun sa option correct hai i am holding well i'm so happy shake om shanmukh apsana duka harris rachna all are giving perfect answers option b is a correct answer but to verify it let me take this code here 
printed across here change the file name java c this is the answer so i'll tell you where all of you went wrong so all of you gave the option is b but the option was not b maybe some other option because the answer is star onion is the option b star onion let me check no sorry sir rachna arti duka afsana om shanmukh and many more all answers wrong right all people answered wrong oh uh oh what went wrong the correct answer was option a i'll tell you what went wrong in your mind friends please remember i am first finding index of star so obviously the first star comes here before the word onion last index of star is this one here which comes after the word onion whenever you do substring the rule of substring is it will start from the start index but it will go to one position less than the end index i repeat substring will go one position less than the end index so you are giving me end delimiter of this star now so it is going to go to one position before it this rule is applicable to all languages whether it's java or python or javascript in material ye rule sabhi languages ko lagu hota hai theek hai can you all also if you wish to try the code you are welcome to try it please go ahead i'll wait for 30 seconds please try your codes friends i think i gave you enough time rachna says is done very good i hope everyone also has executed their codes om shanmukh excellent very good going okay now let's look at the very simple uh, piece of next set of functions called replace replace first and replace all a replace function can take a character or a string and replace that with some other character or string replace first will only replace the first occurrence replace always going to replace all occurrences i know you will probably feel to ask me that rocky sir what is the difference between replace and replace first both do the same thing the only difference is replace can replace a string as well as a character aap character ka replacement bhi kar sakte ho string ka replacement bhi kar sakte ho replace first mein wo keval string to string replacement karega character to character means string to string fundamentally replace person replace are both doing the same thing not much difference okay except for the provision of giving string and character parameter baki koi difference nahi replace all is different of course replace all make sure that if you are finding the string for multiple times all occurrences will get replaced okay now let us come to a a, a problem and there are some notes written over here note one replace function works with character and string both replace first and replace all both functions replace first and replace all both functions work only with strings and if the matching character or string is not found then be sure no replacement is going to happen okay now i want all of you to think a bit in this piece of code i'll tell you what we are doing let me go full screen on this 
uh, I've defined an input stream reader to get inputs from system.in. Friends, in Java, system.in means keyboard. So, you have keyboard se input from the keyboard. You have input stream reader ka object. Banaya. Now, actually, when you want to read characters, not a single character, many characters, then you need one more class over input stream reader called buffer reader. So, buffer reader has joined hands with ISR and ISR has joined hands with the keyboard. So, data will come from the keyboard in ASCII format, in numeric or in integer binary format. That will be converted into a character by ISR and buffered reader can group characters together and make a single word for you. Okay, you have to string, you have to the whole word. Hai na? Okay, my first uh, print statement says enter a string. And let's say you say, oh yes, I'll enter a string. And the question is, replace a string, replace a substring banking within the string banking and IT by ERP. Okay, cool. So jo enter the string, you have enter kiya banking and IT. I repeat, you have enter kiya banking and IT. बाद में आपको पूछा एंटर अ सबस्ट्रिंग आपने एंटर किया बैंकिंग फिर आपको पूछा एंटर द न्यू सबस्ट्रिंग आपने एंटर किया ईआरपी हर चीज को आपने रीड लाइन से पढ़ा है द होल लाइन वाज होल रीड लाइन मींस ग्रुप ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स सो और इवन ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स सो इट विल रीड अ वर्ड और मोर वर्ड्स सो फर्स्ट टाइम यू एंटर्ड बैंकिंग एंड आईटी नेक्स्ट टाइम यू एंटर्ड बैंकिंग थर्ड टाइम यू एंटर्ड ईआरपी दिमाग आपको कहां लगाना है आपको ये फाइंड करना है कि स्ट्रिंग फोर के आगे मैं क्या रिप्लेस फंक्शन यूज करूंगा सो दैट द वर्ड बैंकिंग एंड आईटी विल बिकम ईआरपी एंड आईटी द वर्ड बैंकिंग एंड आईटी विल बिकम ईआरपी एंड आईटी ओके इफ आई प्रिंट स्ट्रिंग वन इट विल प्रिंट बैंकिंग एंड आईटी इफ आई प्रिंट स्ट्रिंग फोर इट शुड प्रिंट ईआरपी एंड आईटी सो कैन यू राइट दिस इंटायर कोड ब्लॉक फॉर मी इन द चैट विंडो I'm taking up this entire code. And I'm placing it in front of you. Over here. There is a code of SDF4 equal to missing. Which you have to complete. Because if you don't complete this, my code will not run. Remember, you all people have to complete this. So come on, get to work. I'm holding. Wow, so I got my first answer uh, from Azlan and from Kazi. I think that answer is also correct. Let me try doing this here. So uh, he's telling me to take the string one, uh, which is holding banking and IT, and replace the word banking with ERP. Chalo, try karke dekhte hai. Let me run this code first. Everyone's attention on my screen. And all answers are going correct. Kazi, Aslan, Duka, Harris, all answers are going correct. That's very good. 
oh i think something is missing oh i think semicolon is missing Cannot find the symbol system is order print ln o o o should have been print ln it's print n or what ah oh. sorry a typo error enter the string banking and it enter the substring which i want to replace it's banking enter the new substring erp so erp may i have to keep it small because yep so as you can see i'm replacing banking and it with erp and it and it worked thank you everyone you solved the problem so you're thorough with what how the replace function works great this is of course self explanatory to upper and to lower cases and caret function these are all simple functions i'm not going to touch upon them i'll move on to string buffer and string builder now something very serious about this string buffer and string builder have two major similarities therefore when we ask students they say both are same But they are not the same. उनके major pointers same हैं. They both are mutable. That means you can change their content at runtime. They both share the same set of methods. That means their API is the same. ये दोनों इतने बड़ी similarities हैं कि दुनिया बोलती है कि ये दोनों same हैं. लेकिन ये दोनों same नहीं हैं. दोनों में अंतर क्या है? आप वो समझिए. String buffer methods are thread safe. So if I'm writing multi-thread programming in Java, remember by heart, you will not dare use string builder. You will use only string buffer. अगर आप multi-thread programming कर रहे हो किसी project का, तो आप केवल string buffer use करोगे. You will not use string builder because string buffer is thread safe and string builder is not thread safe. okay first point second methods of string buffer are synchronized that means if two threads or two parallel programs are working on a given case there will not be any conflict or corruption of data because they both are synchronized example you and me are synchronized when i speak you are listening when you give response on the chat i am seeing and i am listening so we are synchronized if both of us talk at the same time we are not synchronized obviously right we both are working in threads i am executing my code i stop you execute when you execute you are done i execute we both are working at the moment we both are working but both of our working in sequence i work i stop you work when you stop again i work so we are both are working in parallel but we are synchronizing with each other so we are a multi threaded environment teacher and student always works in a multi threaded environment always we both are working but we are working in synchronism so if we both have to talk to each other we are going to use string buffer did you get me right so if you are asking me which is more common to be honest because multi thread programming is done in very critical situations in java therefore in most of the cases we use string builder we don't use string buffer because string buffer being thread safe and its methods being synchronized are very slow in work they don't give you quick response they give you very slow response they take significant amount of milliseconds to give you response if i want the response in Microseconds or nanoseconds, then please don't use string buffer. Use string builder. String builder is super fast because string builder methods are not synchronized, and hence they work very very fast. Okay, right, right. So 
Prachna, I hope you got a brief idea of multi-threading means two or more pieces of code working in parallel with synchronism with each other. Okay, so there is a separate topic called uh, multi-threading, which is a part of our Java coding course available on our portal. So if you have not taken that course, you can look forward to taking up that course because it has a complete set of videos on multi-threading along with other topics. Okay, right. So moving on further, friends. <coughs> See, creating of an object of uh, string or string buffer is, is very straightforward. There is no big deal. You have to write say, the new keyword and a string buffer or a string builder object is getting created. OK, let's look at the constructors now. This is a little surprising for many people. When you make a string object, no space is pre-reserved. When you're making a string object, no space is pre-reserved. But when you make a string buffer object, some space gets reserved. So when I make an empty string buffer object like this, I'm not given any string. By default, a string buffer object will be created and it can hold 16 characters in it. So it is by default having space of 16 characters. String buffer <clears throat> can be given a size of your choice. You can give a size less than 16, more than 16. If you don't give a size, it will book 16 character ka space. Okay. Last, you can make a string buffer by giving a string. Example, let's say you give a string, let's say Kasi, Q, A, Z, I, that is four characters. So string buffer will actually book 20 character space. Q, 16 character, though defaults book karega. Plus, aapko jitna jaga chahi, utna wo book karega. So tomorrow, if I ask you this question, if I want to store a string A, B, C, how much space will be there? Come on, tell me. How much internal space will string buffer take? Will it be three characters? Will it be three characters? Will 16 characters or 19 characters? 3, 16, 19. Come on, tell me. Correct. Very good, Rachna. Very good, Aslan. Is 19 characters. Absolutely good. Good going. Right. So now, because you know that it is 19 uh, characters, so you get a fair idea. You see, you get a fair idea that why it is 19 characters. Okay, cool. Now, how do you verify? Aapka man ka, Are, mujhe vishwas nahi hai, Rocky sir, ki it is taking space. You don't trust me? Chalo, don't trust me. I will run some program here with length and capacity. Then I hope you will trust me. Because many people don't believe. They say, Are, aise kaise hoga? How can string buffer or anything in string take some predefined space? Wait, I will show you, then you trust. Okay? Don't trust otherwise. Have a look. So what I have got here, I've got a string buffer, as you can see. String buffer here. In which I have I'm holding some word of five characters, SCTP. That's a full form of a company name, Swin Consultants in Technology Private Limited. SB is a string buffer object. I'm first finding the length of it. Then I'm finding capacity. OK? I'll tell you what is the difference. First, you see the output. Then I again made another string buffer object, which is completely empty. Again, I found the length of it and the capacity of it. Please remember, length means the number of characters which the object is holding. So SB blank is holding nothing, so length should be zero. String buffer is holding five characters, so length should be five. What is capacity? Capacity is the total amount of space that this variable is taking in the computer's memory. You see, SB, the actual space layer hai. In the computer's memory, that is the term capacity. So let me show you. Compile the code. Run the code. Have a look for yourself. First string holds SCTP as five characters, so length is five. 
capacity is 21. I'm sure you guessed why 21. 16 plus 5 is 21. Second string is holding nothing. So length is 0 because it is holding 0 characters. And it is 16 because it is holding nothing, right? So by default, 16 characters are taken by string buffer. So I hope from today you remember string buffer is called string buffer because it actually pre allocates a buffer space of 16 characters. This is very necessary when you want to read very large data. Remember, for reading large data, string buffers are very useful because they allocate quick buffer spaces. So, reading and writing of large files, string buffer is a very good data structure to use. Instead of using string, use string buffer for reading and writing large files. Okay, right. So, can I expect all my friends in the batch? So please run this piece of code. I'm going to hold for a minute. I hope you're going to all run this code, please. Excellent. Kazi, Rachna, Afsana, awesome going. So all the report has done very good. So friends, I'll tell you what's the plan for now. I'm going to do a very simple but a very critical thing. Compatibility between string, string buffer and string builder. People are under the wrong impression. It doesn't make a difference, Rocky. I make a string, I make a string buffer and I make a string builder. Kya bol rahe ho, bhai? They are three different things. You will end up in a compatibility problem. I will prove you the compatibility problem. You may not find this in books. You may not find this in books. You will not find them in YouTube videos. You will not find this in, uh, you know, in normal blogs when you actually keep on Googling. So, but this is very important to you know. This is a very peculiar interview question. What are compatibility problems between string, string buffer, and string build? Okay, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about that. Can we cascade or chain methods? Yes, you can. And the effect is beautiful. When you do cascading or chaining of methods, the effect is beautiful. So you will see by taking two, three examples. Okay. Then there is a problem here for you to solve. There's an incomplete piece of code, which all of you have to complete. Okay. And then one more piece of code, which also all of you have to complete. And then there is a practice test. Practice test is, of course, to be given by all of you at your personal time space. Not now. Of course, you cannot. There are a lot of questions which I've kept here. And all of these questions which you see here are the ones which are asked in the Java certification exam conducted by Oracle. If you, if you ever go and give an Oracle exam, so my entire course of Oracle Certified Java professional listed on the link java.swinconsultants.com. So on this link, java.swinconsultants.com, I have listed all the topics which I cover. There are about 25 plus chapters which I cover. It's a very, very long course. And in the 25 plus chapters which I cover, this is one chapter which you're learning today from. This is just one chapter. Okay. Right. Now, anyway, uh, also coming back to this point. Uh, for people who are completely unaware, they just come in and attending, but they have yet not 
maybe enrolled for the Java certification program, but they probably enrolled for something else on our uh, uh, in a portal. Uh, let me tell you two things. One happy thing today is uh, we have launched with a free course, uh, which is actually a four weeks course called Cloud Computing using AWS. It's a basically Cloud Computing fundamental course is absolutely free. Anyone and everyone is welcome to enroll for the course and uh, do it. It's self-paced course. It should take you ideally four weeks if you're giving one hour every day, but you can take more time. You can finish it earlier also. You can take more time also. A certificate of course completion is issued. We will be complete with the course. Okay. And in this course, you will be learning a lot of things about AWS, but you will be creating a free account on AWS. You will not be creating a paid account. So it's everything working in the AWS free tire. One thing. Second, for those people who are not yet, <clears throat> you know, gone in for enrolling into the Java course, they may have taken some other course. Please go ahead and enrolling into the Java course. I'm telling you, it's going to be very beneficial to you because the Java course, if you notice, is having a small but a very useful internship with Walmart Global Tech Company. Okay, I'm talking of our course, which is on a portal. When you end with your course, like you can see down. Uh, Java is, is is the most elaborate course design. It's having approximately about 104 topics, every topic properly covered in depth and detail. And after all these topics, 50% is the core Java concept. The other 50% is related to how you create UI using Java, that is user interface. So a lot of UI part is being covered in this entire uh, course part. You also have threads and multi-threaded programming. You have how you create projects, and there's so a complete demonstration of approximately, as you could see, of approximately 10 projects which you're going to be making. I'm not saying that these are very big projects, but they are not small also. They are not very big, but they are not small also. They are quite reasonably good projects which give you good exposure on Java. So anybody who does this 10 projects and put them on the resume, unki definitely importance bharti hai. Uh, it is completely optional. After the Java assessment, if it's, I'm repeating, is completely optional. One may go down to hacker rank. It's completely optional. As I told you, you may go to hacker rank, enroll there, and give a Java certification exam. But trust me, if you have done all 103 topics sincerely, आपने अगर 103 topics sincerely किया है, हमारे uh, you know Java software recording course से, तो आप comfortably hacker rank का certification clear करोगे. Okay? और उसके बाद in terms of specifications, where Walmart specifications are given, again, is optional. If you wish, you have time, you can start the internship. These two things are not time bonded. You can do that at any point of time. OK? Now, does anybody have any question to ask? Not related to Java. I'm talking about the Java coding course. Any question to ask on this? Specifically, those students who have not taken the Java coding course, but probably have taken some other thing on the portal, but are attending. Today Java session. So I would highly recommend you to taking up this course. It is really worth for 5,000 rupees. It is worth it for that. But we still are giving you the code. You can use the code SUVN80. SUVN80. This code is valid. Whenever we have a master classes, we generate this code. So this code is valid for 24 hours. If you wish, you can take up this course at 80% discount. That means you get this whole Java coding course in just rupees thousand. Okay. Cool. Uh, I don't think so. There is any course on the market available giving you so much of data so much of content and along with that internship available with walmart global tech okay so two things which i want to tell you i told you about the java coding course uh, highlights on our portal plus i told you that today just today we have launched with a free program called aws so you can inform your friends that there is an aws coding course also and in the next three weeks within the next three weeks we'll be also launching a paid course but a super duper useful course for many of you called front end developer coding course in which you'll be learning complete html css and javascript and making beautiful websites okay cool so friends back to so these are all basically at the core level job oriented courses Trust me, people say that they are learning good, they are learning a lot of higher things up, but they are weak in their core. 
so people if, if their cores are strong java python database statistics excel if your core is strong trust me everything will go good okay and so we are concentrating only on the core courses okay so any questions up to this point friends anyone any questions please you can ask me either on chat or on audio aslan you have a question please come 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 to audio aslan please come to audio srishti come to audio no how will others how will i know what the question is good evening sir yes good evening uh, sir i have one question that what is the difference between length and capacity uh, length is the number of characters capacity is a memory space any relation between them that's a difference no how can there be relation so what is the relation between uh, shristi and azla no relation they are two different entities so length is a different method and capacity is different method length is a method which will tell you how many characters string buffer is holding so in the string buffer if you put abc length will be 3 capacity will be 16 characters by default plus 3 equal to 90 capacity is an amount of memory space the system is taking okay sir thank you sure yeah aslan please come to uh, audio audio par aake sawal puchiye clarity aati hai sawal mein i think aslan aap jo puch rahe ho na wo quiz ka hoga why we are giving 5 minutes for the quiz uh that's not for the video that's for the quiz yeah so that is all that input has already come in and we will be working on to it and we will be reducing the uh, minimum time for the uh, quiz very shortly so you haven't to worry about it we will be doing that okay there was a reason uh, behind putting that so that you know nobody just uh, writes a code or a software code and this hacks a system so uske liye wo time limit rakha time limit hum kam karne wale so we already got that input so we are working on it Great. So, friends, I think let me talk about compatibility first. So, first question is: Can we compare a string and a string buffer? Can we compare a string and a string buffer? Let me go to the workspace. So, checking for compatibility. the answer to my first question is sorry to say we cannot compare a string buffer with a string fundamental reason about string buffer or string builder dono mutable hai string jo hai wo immutable hai maine session ki shuruaat at sharp 7 o'clock i started right and at 7 o'clock what did i say string buffer and string builder are mutable that means they are changeable their contents are changeable so what is string string is immutable so that fundamental reason is a reason why string buffer and string are not compatible to each other so if i look at this piece of code this looks so simple no you made a string holding http by the way i am not a object i made a string constant a string constant a new word new keyword kahan likha hai नहीं लिखा तो इट्स अ स्ट्रिंग कांस्टेंट बट व्हेन यू वांट टू मेक अ स्ट्रिंग बफर और अ स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर यू वी यू हैव टू राइट अ न्यू कीवर्ड भाई यू हैव टू राइट इट सो यू आर मेकिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट हियर तो यहां आपने एक स्ट्रिंग कांस्टेंट बनाया यहां आपने एक ऑब्जेक्ट बनाया अब आप क्या कर रहे हो आप स्ट्रिंग को कंपेयर कर रहे हो इज अ स्ट्रिंग इक्वल्स टू एसबीआर हां इक्वल्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से तो वो इक्वल्स है ना क्यों बिकॉज़ एसटीआर कॉन्टेंट और एस बी आर का कॉन्टेंट तो सेम है सही है तो कॉन्टेंट वाइज दोनों का सेम है तो इफ टू जाना चाहिए और ये आंसर इफ का पार्ट रन होना चाहिए बराबर ना हम यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट ना लेट एस सी डज इट वर्क दैट वे क्या आंसर आया आप देखो इफ का पार्ट रन नहीं हुआ है इफ एल्स का पार्ट रन हुआ है एस टी आर एंड एस बी आर कॉन्टेंट आर नॉट इक्वल अब आपका मन कहेगा ना ये कैसे इक्वल नहीं है रॉकी सो क्या बोल रहे हो आप 
दिस इज एस टी पी एल दिस ऑल्सो एस टी पी एल तो कॉन्टेंट तो सेम है करेक्ट है सर कॉन्टेंट सेम है लेकिन आप जो चीजें कंपेयर कर रहे हो वो दोनों सेम नहीं है ना यूर कंपेयरिंग एन एपल विद एन ऑरेंज नो दैट इज नॉट सेम नो दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम सो इफ यू कंपेयर अ स्ट्रिंग विद अ स्ट्रिंग बफर और अ स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर आंसर इज सिंपल दे आर नॉट कंपेटेबल so even if their contents are same you will get the answer as not equal to okay so what is the solution to it solution to this is that you will have to convert your string buffer or string builder kuch bhi use karo dono ko same rule apply hota hai into a string are how will i do that is very simple ray You have got a string here. You have got a string buffer here. When you use the equals function now, in the bracket, write S B R. This is a string buffer object. Dot two string. See, so S B R dot two string will convert your string buffer into a string. Now the two strings are being compared. अब तो कंपेयर होगा ना यार एप्पल टू एप्पल कंपेयर कर रहे हो अब तो कंपेयर होगा अब तो आप मानना भी चाहिए आपको कि जवाब इफ पार्ट का ही आएगा बिल्कुल सही है इफ पार्ट का आंसर आएगा ओके आई होप यू आर लाइक क्लियर ऑन दिस पार्ट एंड व्हेन यू आर कंपेयरिंग स्ट्रिंग विद स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर और स्ट्रिंग बफर प्लीज कन्वर्ट देम इनटू अ स्ट्रिंग फर्स्ट एंड देन डू द कंपेयर्स Cool. Great. So I'm coming into understanding what is cascading or chaining or methods. Can I hope somebody of you to tell me what is the output of this? Can I hope somebody of you to tell me what is the output of this? Can you give it a try? Bina code run ke in your minds run karke bol rahe ho. Its output kya hoga? Okay, Azlan says. Azan, uh, Azan says, I am Patrick Musi, your officer. It seems that you guys are going correct. Let me now help you with this. So, friends, first was I am learning. Replace function says I am going to replace on the character number five. Character number five is the word L of learning, and thirteen character accommodates. So, pura word learning aa gaya. So, replace function ne kya kya word learning ko replace kya practicing ke saath, aur fir apne append kya usko jo aage likha hua hai. You're absolutely correct. Very good, Aslan, Hasan, Rachna, going very good. Let me run this piece of code for my class. Right, cool, sir. I hope you've gone all correct. You understood why it is coming this way. Okay, now let me look at the next piece of code. This is a little tricky. Let me see who can solve it in their minds and get the. आंसर ओके सो इट इमेटीरियल वेदर आई हैव अ स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर और अ स्ट्रिंग बफर दैट डजंट मेक अ डिफरेंस सो आई नॉट क्रिएट अ कंफ्यूजन बाय काइंड ऑफ पुटिंग अ स्ट्रिंग बफर सो आई जस्ट कमेंड दिस पार्ट हियर कमेंड दिस थ्री लाइंस हियर ओके सो डोंट वरी अबाउट द लास्ट थ्री लाइंस आई विल पंच इट टू फॉर योर टेस्टिंग But what do you think is the answer for this variable is? Please think. Let me know. It may take a minute. Take a minute.
एनी वन हू कैन कम टू ऑडियो टू हेल्प मी सो सॉल्विंग दिस अराउंड यू नीड पेपर एंड पेन Let me try solving this with all of you. This is my original number, huh, friends? Please, आपका ध्यान मेरे स्क्रीन पर. Please, I hope all your attention on my screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is my original data. First, the read function says delete from the index zero up to index three. Cool. So index zero, one, two. so in short is reading remember whatever end index you give it, it will delete one position less so it should delete 1 to 3 then you saying delete from index 1 so index 1 here is this is 0 now no 4 is 0 index aa gaya so index 1 is 5 so deleting index 1 and 2 Then you're saying delete from index two. This is zero. This is one. Index two is eight. So you're asking about index two. So delete karo. Up till the index five. Up to five to hang. Then you're saying insert from index one. Remember index zero. Index one is in center. So you want to insert eighty one there. So the output finally should be four eight one seven. I don't know. I am. I have just done my mind. Let me check when I run the code. कोड रन नहीं किया ना मैंने तो मैं कोड रन कर रहा हूं आपके सामने थिंक अबाउट इट सेम आंसर आया तो सोचना कैसे आया देखो आंसर क्या आया 4817 मेरा भी आंसर वही आया था 4817 आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू रन विद दिस कोड प्लस आई वांट यू टू अनकमेंट द स्ट्रिंग बफर पार्ट आल्सो एंड रन एंड थिंक अबाउट हाउ इट इज गेटिंग रिजल्ट Giving you about one minute. I'm giving you one minute to crack the logic for the string buffer part, the second part. फ्रेंड्स एग्जीक्यूट हुआ कि नहीं दूसरे का आंसर क्या आया आपने इन तीन लाइन से कमेंट किया होगा अनकमेंट करके रन किया होगा आंसर क्या आया एनी आइडिया व्हाट इज द आंसर फॉर द लास्ट थ्री लाइन इफ यू अनकमेंट एंड रन दैट कोड इज इट आल्सो फोर एट वन सेवन Perfect, Kazi. That's right. So what I want to tell you is, you can get the same output by different ways of cascading. So in cascading function, there is no one way of doing it. There are multiple ways of doing it, and you can get the same answer. Okay. Aliya, let me solve one of the problems with you. There is a problem uh, in front of you. You have to crack multiple lines of code. You have to crack what is what is to be written in front of the string str. 
what is to be written in front of ig and length what is to be written in front of boolean flag what should be the logic of the for loop here and what should be the condition in the if part okay so that's the that's the code block here i am giving you 2 minutes to think at least logically tell me ki what is going to come in front of a string str kuch to idea do mujhe kya aayega wahan par okay i'm giving you 2 minutes to think please go ahead absolutely correct kazi is absolutely right it will be args of 0 you have gone through the software java software coding course very well kazi am impressive so as you can notice over here friends java palindrome madam is written whenever you give arguments or parameters while running the code they are called as command line arguments so the word madam will be taken from args of 0 into the variable str absolutely correct good now think what could the value of i g or length be okay you can skip i g and length i'll i'll talk about it a little later think about the for logic what do you think the for loop logic will be that this is the most brainy part think about it i'm holding Okay, Rachna, I I agree. You want to keep the value of i n j as zero zero. I agree, but let us think about the for loop ka under ka part kya aega. What should be the for loop part here? Think about that. uh okay rachna you are quite close but i'm sorry to say you didn't take care of the variable j at all please remember that inside the for loop there is the variable i and j both are driving the logic so if the variable j is not attended then it's not is never going to increment so it's never going to change so variable j will remain standstill i will only keep on changing so in the for loop you have to take care of both the code still think think for a minute omesh has an answer <clears throat> variable i 0 comma variable j 0 semicolon correct i less than arg dot length i plus plus j plus plus it seems to be correct but omesh do you think <clears throat> agar aapko madam check karna hai or you will check any palindrome there is is there a need to first of all go from start to end that is first question second what is the use umesh to compare i with j both referring to the same palindrom kab hoga when you compare i with j where i should be the zeroth index position and j should be the length minus 1 index position you have to compare m with m you have to then you have to increment i and decrement j compare a with a isn't it <clears throat> and then again why do you want to compare d with d again compare a with a you say okay sir i am comparing a with a. yes you are doing when you say that your condition is 
like the example what Rachna has kept right now. When you say that value of i should be less than args dot length, then you are scanning the whole string. So you have not to scan the whole string, my friend. You have to only scan half the string. Understand? You have to only scan half the string. Because if you are reaching up till D, you should stop. If the first character and last character are matching, second last, sorry, second and second last character are matching, and this is a mid character, stop here. This is like a movie Jabbi Met. So Jabbi Met condition again, you should stop there. Okay, right? So see, I'm so happy that logically you are building up and you're almost gone correct. Rachna and Umesh are strongly trying. And they're almost reached to the right answer, although there's still an error. So, but it's not difficult, right? So I have got a code which is explained to you. Have a look at this piece of code. How does it work? First, args of zero. As my friend Kaji said, I will pick up this and dump it in the variable str. Notice carefully the variable i, j, and length. Three variables. I have declared two variables. I have declared three variables i, j, and length, but I have initialized only one variable length equal to string length. That means i and j are not initialized. Simple. i and j are not initialized. Initially, the Boolean flag variable is false because up to mujhe pata na, string palindrome hai nahi. So up till now, I don't say the string is palindrome. So I am saying false. String is there, okay? Cool. I've got a for loop here. Notice I've got a for loop here. In my for loop, I'm saying i is zero. J is equal to length minus one. See, if i is zero. J is equal to length minus one, which I see some of you have uh, has given the correct answer. See here what I've done. I've written i less than equal to j. You say, okay, so you just now said divide by two. Why effect one? Dosto, in every iteration, you are incrementing i and you're decrementing j. So if I have a string called madam, if I have got a string called madam, I am compiling this is i, this is j in first round. Then this is i, this is j in the next round. Then this is i and j both. This is i and j both. Isn't it? So effectively, if you notice, you're stopping here. I said i less than equal to j. Moment i goes greater than j, jo jayega, next time I will next time so moment i and j over here now if you increment i i will become come here j will come here i have to stop because my condition is i less than equal to j moment i becomes greater than j i'm stopping so in short i am not traversing the whole string i'm traversing only up till the half of the string that's the basic funda and you get your answer you're comparing every character by character if you get all the half the 50 percent or the first 50 percent characters equal to the next 50 percent characters answer is true that means string is a parent row simple as that so what I'm going to do right now is this was the logical way of doing about. Let me run the code and give madam here and try this. It is a string is valid. Right? You guys, all all of you win now. You still want to try this code? I will punch it across to you. Remember, this is the for loop mechanism of doing it. I'm not using the built-in functions. I'm using the for loop to do it. I'll tell you one more way of doing this code without using the difficult logic of for loops in the next two minutes. I'm holding. Take two minutes to execute the code, please.
yes friends finished could anybody try this code could anybody try this code Come on, respond fast. One of you could try this code. I'm so happy. That's nice. Now, look at the next and the last code of execution for today onto my screen. People say that. Then string can do everything for me. Why the hell I should use string buffer and string builder? Answer is simple to make your life easier. You should use string buffer or string builder to make your life easier. Because string buffer and string builder has more methods, more built in methods compared to string. A good example is the code on my screen. Okay, Rachna has a question coming in. Will you be sharing the PDF with us? I have already shared in the morning, Rachna, on the same tech group from where you got the Google Meet link to join. The PDF was already there. Please check it once again. You will get it. If you don't get it, let me know. Okay, right. So let's see this now. In this piece of code, string will come, of course, from arc zero, no big deal. But string buffer, what do you want to do? दोस्तों मुझे स्ट्रिंग बफर में स्ट्रिंग को रिवर्स करना है आई वॉन्ट टू रिवर्स एंड कीप द स्ट्रिंग इन द स्ट्रिंग बफर देन आई वॉन्ट टू कंपेयर द स्ट्रिंग एंड द रिवर्स ऑफ इट कूल मेक सेंस सो आई डोंट नीड अ लूप एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ करेक्ट नो लूप बिजनेस यार नो लूप बिजनेस सो हैव अ लुक आग जीरो से मुझे स्ट्रिंग मिल गया फ्रॉम द स्ट्रिंग आई मेड अ स्ट्रिंग बफर ऑब्जेक्ट सो फर्स्ट यू एंटर लेट्स से मैडम आई मेड अनदर स्ट्रिंग कॉल्ड मैडम एज अ स्ट्रिंग बफर सो गॉट टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट स्ट्रिंग होल्ड्स मैडम अदर ऑब्जेक्ट स्ट्रिंग बफर आल्सो होल्ड्स मैडम आई डिड एसबी डॉट रिवर्स मैडम का रिवर्स मैडम ही होगा नाउ आई एम कंपेयरिंग एसटीआर इक्वल्स एसबी डॉट टू स्ट्रिंग एसटीआर इक्वल्स sb dot two string so in a simple words i am actually comparing i repeat in simple words what i am doing exactly is i am comparing the string str with the string uh actually i am comparing string madam with the reverse of madam both are same so obviously this will go true and if this goes true i'll get the output as string is a palindrome isn't it friends so to have a look at this Let's have a look. I'll run the code in front of you. First compile kiya. Code compile ho gaya. Ab main run kar raha hu. Well, I got an answer. You would run it differently. Okay, I run it A B C D. Answer aega not a problem. Okay. Now I am punching this code to all of you so that even you can experience running this. Please go ahead.
okay so i i get a report coming in from kazi which is done only he is done what about others aslan also done fantastic fantastic class very good going okay now i am just going to pick up one problem i remember practice problems is not for me to solve in the class it is for you all to solve in the class but i am just going to pick up one problem let me see how many of you can solve this in 30 seconds maybe maximum 1 minute not more than that can you please go here question number 3 have a look question number 3 what is the answer according to you okay kazi says option d but or what about others rachna also says it will give compilation error okay what is the reason for compilation error what is the reason are you all trying to say minus operator will not work on the string therefore compilation error what is the reason is that the reason ki minus operator string par kaam nahi karta i'll place this code in front of you x minus y should be inside the brackets to work no no sir no 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 funny eh see string is plus operator will concat it to the value of x fundamentally the value of x is 54 So string is 54 is okay cool no problems but the minus operator will not work because on the left of it i have got a string and on the right of it i have got a integer so in this situation what is going to happen have a look for yourself so you will get a compile time error as i explained to you minus operator is cannot work over a string minus operator is only meant to work on non numerics like as integer and floats okay so rachna says for concatenating we use plus operator and hence we need to perform operation it should be given in a variable that's okay fine so the objective is not to correct this program the objective is to find the right option and the right option is because minus operator cannot work over string so you get a compile time error again be very careful when you are solving the problems focus only on the problem don't focus on the fact of how i'll correct this problem if i correct what i'm going to get so then that case you never get a matching option okay that's a kind of a handy tip which i'm giving you when you're solving you know machine test programs or technical test programs in companies okay uh so friends i hope you found this whole session fruitful okay and um, you are part of the tech group Now, Aslan saying, and sir, add brackets too. Yeah, of course. If you add brackets, it will work. Naturally, it is going to work because there will be concatenation. होगा ना यार. अगर आप bracket डालोगे, तो 54 minus 45, 10 बचेगा. 10 concat हो जाएगा. काम करता हूँ. Again, I'm repeating, Aslan. We are not supposed to modulate the program to make it correct. You are supposed to say, given the score, what is the answer? Okay. So option D is the right answer accordingly. Cool. So your homework for this week is. apart from doing your software java software coding course continuing with that you will solve the 26 problems here of course you will not be immediately getting any answers from me but i'll definitely share the right answers sometime later okay on the, over the group itself and tomorrow i will be say, sharing the recording of this particular uh, course and i've already shared the pdf so that's already there on the group right so friends i hope you're liking this please make sure that you spread the word about the portal internship.swainconsultants.com among your friends about the good quality courses and good quality of training which you are getting here at almost no cost so please spread the word among your friends so that others can also benefit any doubts people have anything about the java code or any suggestions please i am for i am over here you can ask me if you don't have any doubts or any problems you can start logging out 
Thank you.